Hi guys, uh, welcome to my podcast. This is the Strawberry Jams Podcast. I'm your host, Monday Sauce. And uh, I have a special um, guest right now. It's my homegirl, uh, Nick. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, What's up, guys? Yeah. Uh, Good to be here. You want to introduce yourself like just a little bit? Yeah, my name is um, Nick. I am a tattoo artist. I also own a tattoo shop in Garden Grove, California. It's called Cultura Tattoo, K-U-L-T-U-R-A. So if you ever need a tattoo, come on by. And that's in California, SoCal. SoCal, Garden Grove, California. Yes, and I'll put the description below. But anyways, uh, how are you? How's I'm everything? Good. How's life? It's good, it's good, man. Life is good. How do you feel about this year? What do you feel about it? Because what are we going to talk about right now is about resolutions goals and yeah how do you feel like when entering this year I feel like going into 2024 um, the thing I want to focus on is self-improvement and I've, at the end of 2023 I've been doing a lot of self-reflection yes. you know thinking about what mainly thinking about what can I improve on Okay. So those are the things that I want to keep in mind going into this next year, just to be better all around. Okay. W- what was the feeling where, like, you know, it was the 31st, right? And then suddenly it's, like, January 1st, and then you woke up that day. What do you feel like, like, damn, it's another year? Like, how do you, like, feel? Do you feel excited? Do you feel like scared do you feel like hopeful like what do you feel because for me when when i woke up january 1st i'm like i'm gonna take this fucking year i'm gonna take this over i'm i'm, I'm gonna grab this opportunity that's what i feel how, how about you what did you feel i think um it was a bit difficult right because leading up to the new year there's just been a lot of stuff going on in my life right with business personal so i wasn't feeling great Mm. I was in a place in my head where I was feeling kind of depressed, you know, getting back into that dark space that I used to get into. Mm -hmm. Um, It's easier for me to pull myself out of it now, but um, yeah, so I wasn't feeling great New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, but then it was January 2nd that I pulled myself out of it and was like, all right, like it's time to go. And I don't think it was so much that it was New Year's. I think it was just this realization I had. Did you feel like, okay, it's a new year, I know I have a lot of shit going on, but I need to leave that from the last year and just, you know, do baby steps as much as possible and just, you know, move forward? Or does it still linger? Of course, I think it lingers a little bit, but I know it's hard to just leave it there that year, but do you feel like you know, going into this year, you feel like I need to leave that there. I feel like there are lessons that I learned in 2023 that I want to carry into 2024. Mm, um, okay. Not So not necessarily leave it behind. And then if anything, I would take it with me because those challenges were valuable for me to learn the things that I needed to learn. You know, there are things that I never encountered before. Like, um, we, this year at the tattoo shop, we hired, um, booth rental artists. Mm -hmm. So it's my first, very first time having to manage other people. Okay. So it not, I guess not first time managing other people, but managing multiple people that I've never known before. And that was a challenge. And there were mistakes that I made along the way. You know, I, I feel like I did good. I'm really proud of the team that we've built. I'm proud of the way that I handled things. But at the same time, I could be doing better in certain aspects. And I think I'm going to carry that with me into this next year to continue improving so that every booth rental artist that comes through here has a good and positive experience. Okay, so basically, you are like excited a little bit, or like positive or excited a little bit, but at the same time, do you feel like it's also scary or you're just flowing in a way the word that I would use for it 
is, I don't think it's scared. I don't think it's excited. I think it's let's fucking go. Oh, okay. It's like determined, okay. you know. That's that's the best way I could describe it. Cause I don't fear the challenges. I don't fear the the obstacles that are gonna come up. They, they it sucks in the moment, you know. It does. Mm -hmm. But in the words of my grandma, everything is going to be okay, baby. Oh, okay. It will all work itself out. Like you just have to keep going. And I I have an amazing support system, so that's one thing that I have the privilege of having behind me because I know if something happens I will have the support of my family and my friends okay to be there if I do falter okay you know why I ask you these kind of questions because like different people really like uh, you know take different information or like how they you know like absorb things so I ask you like because I've encountered like this last year, like around December, right? Like I've been talking to these people and like online or like, you know, and I asked them like, hey, how do you feel about, you know, this or whatever, whatever. And all of them like that I asked, the one that really stand out to me was this girl and she was saying like, I'm just want to flow. I am not excited. I am scared. And like, you know, like, I feel like a bad energy a little bit from her because I'm, I try to be positive, right? So I told her like, you know, like, like flow, but lean more on the positive things rather than the negative thing. Yes, it will be scary, but life is scary, you know? And I was telling her that and then suddenly she flipped on me. Bro. And I was like, I got weirded out because she was telling me like, every time I talk to you, like you're always like, think positive positive you don't like think about the consequences or like you don't think like you I know you're like I know the way I'm like getting to know you you're like a go-getter or like you're a risk taker but not all people are like that so I've learned something new from this from this person that not everybody is like that you know so that's why I asked you that and basically I was just telling her like you know I read this book that I was telling her, like, I, I'm telling her, like, be positive, but I'm not forcing you to be positive. I'm just saying, like, it's just, like, good or bad. I'm just saying, like, lean more on the good rather than the bad. And then he was, she was still not budging, basically. And she had a good year. But, and I'm like, why are you thinking this way? And then she, and then I just remember that I think she just don't want to expect because it's going to, hurt her more but I was telling her like that's you know that's life in general but yeah that's why I ask you about that so it's really so I, I feel really feel like you know different people you need to find your different like energy or different like wavelength and that's where I'm like yeah there's a lot of like I don't want to say she's fucked up but I'm just saying like there's just so different much different mentalities that, different mentalities different mentalities right? and I, I, I mean I think it's I don't necessarily, it's not that I don't like the word flow, I just think that flowing is great, right? Like whatever comes up, you're gonna roll with the, roll with the punches, you know, you're gonna figure it out or whatever, but I prefer to have the mentality of, of changing the direction. Oh, that's, you know a good, I mean? that's a good point. Because when you flow, you're just going wherever the waves take you, right? But if you're... Like, if it's bad, all right, it's bad. If it's yeah. good, all right, it's good. Yeah. But I think the people... I don't know. I, maybe the people that are like that are flowing is just like... They just want to expect or they just want to get... Don't want to get hurt in a way, maybe? What do you think? I mean, so... I think, yeah, a lot of people have the mentality that... Don't set your expectations too high and then you'll never be disappointed, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a difference between setting goals and having high expectations of yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? If you if you have goals and you set them for yourself, of course you're going to be scared that you don't reach them. But the difference between the difference between the people that ultimately achieve greatness uh -huh. and the people that live the rest of their lives being mediocre is the people that achieve greatness can accept those failures, can accept the disappointments, and move past it. 
Okay. So if you're afraid of being disappointed, uh, being disappointed, if you're afraid of the failure, you're never going to reach for more. Yeah, and also like for me, like it's okay to have like high expectation, and even if you don't get it, at least you have that. For me, you have that mentality. Like you know, in Filipino, they said like libre lang maharap. Like it's free to dream big. It won't hurt you. It's rather it's better to dream big rather than dreaming at all. That's right. Exactly. But you know, you cannot like you like force like people to you know have have that in a in a way. So. And some people will never have that, and that's okay. Yeah. That's why there's Kobe Bryant's, and then there's people that never make it to the NBA. Yeah, and just this is like a simple like a simple to, to yeah. them or something. Shout out to the one that's making. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, we're still fucking. <laughs> but um, so what are your like New Year's resolution to the, like this year? Like top five, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be um, what do you call this? The same in a way. It should be like different. What's your top five? So my top five goals for this year, one year goals, is don't to don't mind the noise. Don't get this. I can remove it in post production. Oh. I can also re- I can reduce it and roll right. it. Yeah, it's a so. it's a do. They're, they're probably restocking something. Else. All right, whatever. So, whatever. Okay, so five okay. five New Year's resolutions. I I would really more call them one year goals. Um, so hmm. New Year's resolutions. People never fucking do them. Yeah. So one year goals are increase revenue at my tattoo shop. As well as increase my personal income, so make more money. Basically. So that's one. Make more money. Um, I want to lose about forty to fifty pounds. Maybe forty pounds would be good. Just be healthier overall. Go with us with Stevie workout. I, oh, just kidding. Far, I know, I know, I know. Far. I know that's just, what, you know. Okay. And then I got the pets, but um, so lose about forty or fifty pounds, and along with that, um, fight. I want to. I want to fight again. You always say that. You always want. You, bro. You know. You told me you always want to fight like in a cage. Yeah. Yeah. Like a really like a cage match. Yeah. Damn. I love it. I know, bro. <laughs> but I'm like, I, like a cage match. Because I, what I remember was you told there's me. like peace in it. Yeah, because I remember you, like you really want like a UFC kind of fight. No UFC Muay Thai. Because look, in that moment, all you're thinking about. Is that one goal? You're not thinking about anything else, and then when you get that, that's an amazing feeling. Oh, so you have the hyper focus in in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you told me like you don't need like the what the helmet that you want like a fight fight. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm down to have all the the gear. I'm not trying to go pro or anything. No, no, but I just enjoy the competition. It can be a good thing. It can be a good thing, but I think it only gets you so far, right? Trying to be the best in the room, it's great as a motivator but at a certain point like you can't always compare yourself to others yeah it, i think it needs to be in a like in a good balance in in a way you know like also like uh like when, when you're bragging something like this uh, this is what you call a humble brag and there's like a cocky brag you know the humble brag is like i don't know it also helps you in a way i don't know how to explain it but yeah maybe it's like you're hyping yourself up yeah yeah you hype yourself up you you feel at peace with yourself, right? Mm. I mean, you feel confident, but I think at peace with yourself is good. Yeah, that's a yeah. better way. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I guess it sounds paradoxical, I guess. Damn, what what's words. that word? It's like, how are you going to say that there's a sense of peace in, in the ring, right? But I think what it comes from is because you're not thinking about anything else. You're focusing on this one goal, and you know you've prepared for it. You feel like you're prepared. Oh, okay. This is like something that you can control, right? You can control your your input. Right? You, obviously, you you can try to control. You you steering the output. Ideally, you want to win, but you are controlling your input. And it's like an, it's not that it's easy, right? It's very difficult, but it's very straightforward what you have to do in order to reach. It's like math. This is why I love math. Because, because you're not hit one... by a calculator in your head. <laughs> You should watch that episode. But yeah, watch the, watch the episode. On That's why she's, she likes math. <laughs> you know, because she's Asian, but she got hit by a calculator in the head. No, yeah. I, lo- I love math because in most in most subjects for math, except for statistics, I, math. I love math. You know why? Because there's one answer. 
Oh, right? for real? Yeah, there's always one answer, unless you're in statistics. There's always one answer. So, so let's say you have the formula. There's a formula, right? Uh -huh. all, it, all, the only thing that changes the answer is the inputs in the formula. Okay. So it's easy to figure out the answer. Okay, my mind is already fucked up. Why are you saying it? <laughs> <laughs> it's either wrong or it's right. And okay. life is not like that. Oh, you're right. You're Life right. is generally not like that. There's no one right answer. There's always the a multiple answers. There's yeah. It's it's not black and white. It, there's gray. Yeah. It's a gray and answer. math and fighting is not like that. Mm, so okay. that's why I love that. So. What's your third one? And then what's your? your third I would one, look. Right? The, I would put that in the second because that's fitness goals. So achieve my fitness goals. Okay. Um. What's your third? Spend spend more time with family. I, I mean, I do that already, but it's just. Continuing that, continuing to spend time with family. And maybe spend time more with your grandma or like with your. She's my dad, family, yeah. so yeah. 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 Um, spend more time with my pets. You will um, spend time with your pets a lot, of time, so. well, or but like spending, spending time. Yeah, like taking taking the dog out on hikes, mm -hmm. exercising her more, training her more. Really want to get her training on point. Yeah. Um, because it's good for her. Um, because spending time for me before I. I don't want to say stupid about it, but I've learned that, you know, when I was with my ex before, like, she always says, like, she always say, like, I want to spend time with you. But in my head, as a dude, like, I was, I, I don't know why I was. like, we're sitting together right now. Yeah, like, I was, yeah, I was, like, kind of fucked up low-key because I'm, like, you know, like, watching movies, like, you know, saying very shy, sleeping. And she always says that like a couple of times, like, you know, I want to spend time, but the way she said, like, really, like, purposely, like, go out. And, quality like, time. Like, quality time. Yeah. Even if the sip, she's not, like, asking for, you know, but as time goes by, I learned that. That's why now you're talking to me, I get it. But before, I don't get that. So I, I understand, like, your, if your pets mm -hmm. want that you want to, like, maybe take them to the bump or. or yeah, well, I mean, they sit in the house all day, you know, I have to go to work for eight hours, so they're just in the house, so it's not good for them to, excuse me, it's not good for the dog to just be sitting inside all day, especially if she's a big dog, you know, so if I could take her out on hikes, um, it'd be, it would be good, so go training is nice. You should go on hikes, I'm down. just go to Black Star Canyon, I was telling Stiver, you can bring your dog there. Yeah, I just, so, I want to take her on hikes with just me first because I want to get her trained better mm -hmm. so she's not being a lunatic um, so but that ties into other goals as well and tie, that ties into my first goal of making more money which is time management so mm -hmm. if I manage my time better I can spend more quality time with my dog and my cats okay um, but yeah that, that would be my fourth goal and then my last one is to stay sober that's a big one. That's a big, that's one. A big one. Yeah, that's a big that's one. That's a big one. I think if you conquer all of these things, then you will be good. Yeah. One year can change a lot. Six months can change a lot. Mm -hmm. So I hope like all of us will, you know, like in a way like we can do good, you know. And um, also, by the way, um, before when the year started, did you do like? those Filipino traditions were like <laughs> I don't know what's this for I don't know like I don't know what yeah so basically you, you, you have need, to have 12 fruit 12 round yeah, fruits but the, I, don't, I don't understand that. it's good luck yeah okay, it's good what, luck for and you have to eat noodles for a long life yeah I know that long yeah. life okay but what is the one where you eat 12 grapes under the table what, yeah what the hell is that yeah we well I don't know <laughs> exactly you, but you know it's good luck because Stipe is at the back what was it for man you know it's good luck it's for good luck. Yeah, it's just it's good like, luck. So you're eating twelve mm -hmm. grapes to um, be good luck. Yeah, yeah, that too, and then hanging someone in three ways. Hanging someone. No, <laughs> no <I'm just> <laughs> hanging some grapes. He's, 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 hanging he's some, some on the hanging, entryway. <laughs> hanging twelve people. <laughs> but <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. Twelve grapes. On so, the oh, twelve grapes. Yeah, and life. then there's also so my mom would always tell me, on, on if you're gonna leave in the house on New Year's Eve, right? Um, you have to open all the cabinets and all the doors oh, okay. and turn on all the lights, which I didn't do because my pets are, uh, they're lunatics, okay? okay? And I can't have all of that shit open, so. Okay, but now that you're an adult, do you still, like, jump in the New Year's? So oh. you become taller? No, because there's no, it's hopeless for me at this but point. But do you still jump, though? No, I don't jump. Oh, you don't jump? No. Okay. Sometimes I'll take the quarters and shake them during the countdown, though. Okay, do you, do you, like, shower and, like, throw all this, like, coins, like, 
No, we used to just have them in our hands and shake them and oh, jump up and down at the same time. Cool. Okay, this. Uh, so you're still jumping? No, well, this was before. Oh, that was before. Yeah. Okay. Th but this now, year, this year I didn't really, I didn't do anything because I, you know, like I said earlier, I wasn't feeling good. Okay. Uh, but usually I get the I get the fruits and I open all the cabinets and the doors and stuff. Cabinets and the doors mm -hmm. and the lights. What does it mean, like? To bring in the good luck. Oh, okay. How about the one that where you like get a, you go out and you like ding 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 ding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I don't know. You get a caldero and like you know caldero, right? Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you say it in English? I mean caldero. Huh? Like a pan or whatever, and then um, they go out and they. No, I think we'd get a noise. Complaint. They make a. No no, they make a, I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's probably to ward off bad spirits. Oh, see, see, that's real history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the opening of cabinets is to embrace the new beginnings of the new year. Oh, so opening cabinets, embracing it, and mm -hmm. warding off is that. Oh, so, so do you, do you believe in that, or do you feel like, or do you just do it because it's tradition? Because for me, it's like, like I'm kind of in the middle. But at the same time, it's not gonna hurt you to do it, you know. Exactly. It's, and it's just fun to do it. Yeah. You know? like, I still jump. When like, New Year I was jumping, and I'm not already, you know, I'm not gonna grow tall, but I still, you know, like, it. But you never know, you know. Yeah. So that's. So do you do you believe that, or do you what, what do you think about it? You still do it, or? I still I still do them. Yeah. Th this year has been an exception, but I still do them. Um, I like how you said it. It doesn't hurt. I still go get my feng shui reading every year at the beginning yeah, of the we're, year. We're, we're going to go. Planning, we're planning. Yeah, I, I, I get my feng shui reading, and she's pre the, the lady that does the reading, she's pretty on point every year that I've gone. Mm -hmm. So, I yeah, I do believe it. Um, so I trust the Chinese like some, in that sense. <laughs> some, uh, so explain, like, how do you say feng shui? Feng, feng shui? Feng shui, yeah. What, what is it? What is it? Like, not all people might not know, but just say, like, a brief, you know, like, what is it? So, um, the zodiac is different. Zodiac, a lot of people are into zodiacs yeah, right now. Like, yeah, oh, what are you? Are you a Scorpio? Are you a Scorpio or a Libra yeah. or whatever? I don't know. Everybody. I don't know if I believe. I, I guess it's not really a Western thing, right? Because it's, it's, I think it started in India. The, there's oh, really? the Indian yeah, zodiac. I don't know. Yeah. Sure. But it's a little, it's a little bit different. But I think that's where the Western version of like zodiac stuff started. But to me, I think because I grew up with the Chinese feng shui stuff, mm -hmm. I kind of trust it more. I don't know. Okay. But um, basically, what it is, so there's different aspects to it, right? Like you can tell what your luck is going to be, or if you have lucky colors depending on when you were born, what time you were born. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's also specific things that you can place around the house for good luck. See, that's what I know. That's what way. I know about feng shui, like put this, a waterfall in front. Or, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Exactly Even like that. statues. So there's this thing on our table right here, uh, golden tiger, I think, and it has to be facing the doorway, and that brings in money. Oh, but that okay. as a present from another tattoo artist. Do you have a frog in, on the top of your like shop right now? I have a frog on my station. It's a uh, purple, purple frog. Okay, because I had like uh, one like. She, he's, she's like Vietnamese, and she put a she put a frog. She called mm -hmm. like a maintenance guy to put the frog inside of this the ceiling, and it's just like it's good luck. Yeah, yeah, it's good luck. It's good luck. So I have um, I have the dragon, I have the frog, and then also so mirrors are not supposed to be facing the door. That's bad luck. So that's why we have a curtain in front of the mirror that's facing this door over here. Okay. Um, at home, there was this thing I got from the feng shui lady. It's like stones, and you have it facing. I have it facing my bed on my side table. There cannot be anything. Really into it. Oh yeah, yeah. They like there can't be anything in between me and those stones. So it has to be on the side table Damn. facing me. It's supposed to help my career. Um, and then um, the way that you arrange your house is uh, does it work? Is important. Does it work? Do you feel I'd like it's so. working? I, I mean, I'd say so. Okay. I, I, I enjoy it. I think that... Because I, 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 I also feel like it's also put you in a place where like you feel lucky or you feel like mm -hmm. something in a way. Like, you know, those people that you know like mm -hmm. sell those beads and then, oh, this beads is, will help you do this, Very do that. Money. I feel weird when I don't wear my, like, I forgot my bracelet today, uh -huh. and I hate that, because I'm like, oh, it's supposed to bring me money, I'm not going to get money today. Oh, for reals? <laughs> yeah, I always, I wear it every day. This necklace I got, that I'm wearing, 
I got it from the feng shui lady. It's good for to. It's jade, so it's good for money. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the dragon, so it's like to give you good, powerful energy and stuff. Same thing with my the. Black Today's the year of the dragon, right? The year of dragon. Yeah. Wood, wood, or I've bible. Always, huh? Wood or wood? They said wood dragon. Or I something. don't know which element, but I always wanted to have a kid year of the dragon. Oh, for real? Yeah, because then he's destined for greatness. Year of the dragon is a very lucky year. What if it's like a lion? I don't think there's a... I don't know. Probably Chinese. Is, 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 is there a lion? No. A tiger? No, I don't think no? so. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think tiger. Yeah, see? Yeah, you don't I don't think, think that's there's like... lions in China, dude. Uh, I don't know. Don't there's lions in China, know. for I'll sure. Have to, I'll have to look it up. But, but okay. um, yeah, the Year of the Dragon is uh, very lucky. Yeah. So, ideally, back so a few years ago, like I wanted 2000, to have 2000 kids. That's the Year of the Dragon. I remember. It's one of my nephews. Born two thousand. Like, oh, then yeah, yeah. Year of the year of the dragon. Firstly, is year of the dragon. Of course, it's a year of the dragon. So <laughs> the I'm dragon, kid, year of the dragon. dragon. Oh, okay. So, um, so do you feel like manifestations and all this, like manifestation boards and all this, like is also like good? Do you, do you plan to do a manifestation? Because I have one. Yeah, research shows that if you write down your goals and you put up pictures, like visual reminders. Um, the research shows that you're more likely to achieve those goals. Oh, for reals? Mm -hmm. That's why the, the, the most successful people, a lot of them write down their goals. Because you are so whatever percent more likely to achieve them. Oh, to like, and if you keep seeing them, you will most likely maybe have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I, I am of the belief that if you want to be like the greats, you have to act like all the greats. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Like, if you... If they do that, it won't... It won't hurt, like... It won't hurt you to... Do it. Yeah, like, it doesn't hurt. In, 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 in a way. And, um... What else? I forgot. I looked up something on my head, but I forgot about it. Because <laughs> I'm like I'm I'm winging it. This is yeah. what I'm winging. I'm winging this episode. Cause I, I don't know why. Cause I want to be like, I want this to be like raw. Yeah. Like in a way, in a natural. It's just gonna be like. Like how you are. Well, that sounds weird. I am raw. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm, you like it raw. <laughs> I like it raw. Um. So um, we're, we're gonna end this podcast. Um, what will you? What do you think? You should advise like cause I feel like you really give like good advice what do you want to share to the world or they want to like uh, like spread positivity or like advice of people you know like this year on what what do you think they should do or you know I don't know like just give some like something that you know that like can yeah. like hype them up or whatever Okay, um, my advice to people would be if you want something, if you have a goal, then work your fucking ass off for it and don't let anything stop you from reaching that goal. There's going to be challenges along the way, there's going to be obstacles, there's going to be times that you feel like it's not going to work, but keep that mentality of it doesn't matter what happens, I'm going to make this work and you will make this work. And um, I know I know there's a lot of people that don't have a lot of support that affects that, right? But all I can really speak about is the mentality part of it. Hmm. You know, um, it's important to be driven, like strive for more. Yeah. You deserve more. You don't have to be just okay with with being mediocre. Mm. And it's I'm not saying that in a negative way to down people, but You only have one life. You have one life. And if you're gonna do something, why not be the best at it? Yeah, and also I was saying like before before I changed like my quote on my Instagram because I put my god sauce. <laughs> but before I says there like uh it's by Ben Baller, it's a jeweler, I don't mm. know you know, but like he said he always says to himself when he's like having these struggles he's like uh, this ain't your practice life right he always says that like this is not your practice life basically it's like try your best to like live the life 
Shout out to the <laughs> Popo. Popo. Wait. But um, I think I think that um, oh God, I lost what I was gonna say too. You, think you said that live your best life. This is the last chance you have, right? Yeah, you only have one life. This your your practice life, and you right. need to live the best that you can. And also, like I went to nursing school, and when you like see all these patients, like they in their deathbed, I don't want to be that guy, man, or like be that woman, or whatever. Like regret things. I should have done that. I should have done this. You know, like, like I would be happy like if I reach like maybe seventy percent or eighty percent of that. You yeah. know, like small regrets. I'd say I look just like just go get it right. I want. I feel like when I talk to a lot of people, the things that are stopping them from doing what it is that they want to do, they see it as reasons. And this is not in a fucked up way, but I it sounds like excuses. Mm. I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because of that. But instead of phrasing it, you, your words are important, right? The mm. words that you use, the way that you say things is important. Instead of saying, I can't do this because of this, right? You should say, all right, how am I going to get around this? Yeah. Right? This is what I can do about this situation. And maybe the outcome is a little different than what you thought it was going to be. But you're still moving forward. If you shoot for the stars and you land on the moon, at least you got to the fucking moon. Yeah. And um. I want to end this podcast with this because I want to share this to you. I don't know if I shared this to you, but it was I listen. Uh, I was listening to this audio book before we end this podcast. But basically, it's also how you put your mind, like uh, the perspective in your mind. Just to be quick, like there's this story in the book where like they had two kids. They were twins. One of them are is very positive, and one of them is very negative. And I think I told Daryl about this, our homie Daryl, and he was like, you know what, that's, that's a good you know, story. But um, basically, there's one that's really positive, and there's one that's really negative. And they did a test on how this, how people, you know, how it's really important how you see the perspective of things. If how you're gonna take it as a negative way, or how you're gonna take it as a positive way. But basically, they. It was their birthday, his little twins. So the positive person, he, the room was filled with shit. The parents pulled with like cow shit, whatever, like all over the room. The other, the negative uh, twin, they put a lot of gifts. A lot of gifts was there, all that he like asked for. So when they opened the room, the, ne- the negative kid was like, you know, he had all these gifts. And he was like, Man, why did you get me the first edition of this car? You should get me the like the most like you know. But he, he already had you know he has that, but he was still negative about it, right? And then this other kid when he opened the door is full of shit, right? He was smiling, bro, and he was saying like, I know you're just playing around. Mm. I know like one of these shits right here, it'll have my gift and it will be a race car. So every time I like like always like think about that story, like also like the, this perspective of like you know just go get it, just be you know like, it's gratitude. Positive. Yeah, guys. Gratitude, so, gratitude is 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 the biggest thing. If you're not grateful for what you have, you know, yeah. like it's gonna be hard to strive for more. Yeah. You know? So I just want to end this podcast already because I want it always to be like thirty minutes mm-hmm. and. Social media accounts yes. yeah. and say one Tagalog word at the end. One Tagalog word at the end? Okay. Yeah, anything. Okay. But so, don't say bad words though. Puta <laughs> mina. <laughs> Shit, okay. Okay, go. Go, go. Okay, um, so my um, my Instagram for the tattoo shop that I that I own, it's Cultura Tattoo. Uh, at Cultura Tattoo, K-U-L-T-U-R-A Tattoo. Um, you can find my my personal Instagram on there as well. Um, I also have a podcast podcast out on Spotify called Nick at Night. That's N I Q at Night. So go check it out. We have some new content coming out. I've also got an episode with Gerald. It's it's I yeah. think it's pretty good. We got some good stuff in there. I think you guys will enjoy listening yeah, to it. Plug your plug your Instagram. Um, 
my Instagram is Nick underscore, underscore Culture Tattoo. So Nick is N I Q underscore K U L T U R A Tattoo. I'm sure he'll have it in the and in I'll the put description. it in the description. Yes. And, and my Filipino words. Final talk. It's like yeah. three words really. Um, okay. It's what my grandma used to tell me all okay. the time. You have to be like lakas ng loob. Oh, you know, like, that's a good. That's a nice. Okay, lakas yeah. ng loob. It's Hell basically yeah. like courage, right? Yeah. Like strong inside. Like be like. Yeah. Let's get it. Exactly. Get it. You Let's know. Get it. Have courage. Like be strong. Twenty twenty four. Let's get it. Inside. Lakas ng loob. Yes, exactly. I wanted to get that tattooed. Off the Damn. But anyways, uh, thank you again for being my guest on uh, this podcast. Uh, this is your host, Monday Sauce. This is the Strawberry Jam Podcast, and we're out. She, she.